Hi, Mr. Stark here again. Before we did a program where we got the micro bit to show a message on the screen and we did it in what we call a forever loop. Now, something that lasts forever just goes on and on and on and never stops. But if we wanted to get it to stop after a certain number of times, so we want to what we call a count control loop. So we're counting the amount of times it does it and then we're going to stop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on my old code and I'm going to delete it. I'm going to go to basic, nope, tell I, sorry, I'm going to go to loops and I'm going to go to repeat four times. Now as you can see, it automatically starts off at four times. So I'm going to change it, I'm going to just change it to three times because I just want my string or my words to go around three times. So now we've got to basic and I want show string. And as you can see, they just clip together like a piece of leather. Now, this bit down here on the start, you should still have on your screen. Don't worry if you've not, just go to basic and scroll down and it's at the bottom. You want to clip this in as well. So that means when the program starts, on, tar, on, so on start, repeat three times. And whatever you're repeating can be inside it. So I'm going to change my answer again. And I'm going to repeat it three times. Now, as you can see, it's already running my program over in my micro bit. And every time I make a change, it starts and starts again. So I could do it two times, and it starts. So that's one, hi, sir, two, hi, sir, and then it should stop. There you go and it doesn't say it anymore. So that's how we repeat it a number of times. So we could change that to whatever number we want. You could do it up to 100, but you'd spend an awful long time counting it. So I'm going to leave it like that. And that's how you do a count control loop.